Hey guys, it's Adir at Triumph West London again. Here this time with the Speed Twin. There's numerous ways on how you can comment on how nice this thing is, but everyone knows how good a Speed Twin is. I'm not one for usually riding an awful lot of modern classics, so riding this thing all day has been really interesting. And so if anyone's curious to see the thoughts on someone that doesn't ride modern classics all that much and wants to see what they're like, perfect person. The Speed Twin itself, if you're someone that likes a bit of sports feel in a modern classic, it's definitely the bike to go for. You've got upside down Marzocchi forks, you've got the big old Brembo brakes on there, so it gives it a very sportish feel. The power of the bike is something that surprised me. I thought when looking at these bikes that they're not going to be the most powerful thing out there. Only sport bikes are fast, it's definitely not true. This thing is definitely quite a nipper. It's got 98 horsepower at the moment with 112 Nm of torque, so the torque is something that really does show off on this bike when you're actually riding it. As for the aesthetics on this bike, some of the things that I really like about it, you've got an engraving of Speed Twin on the, on the actual handlebar clamp, you've got the dual dials on the, on the clocks there. Whilst riding the bike today at Newlands Corner, a little stop off, um, there was numerous people that popped over and mentioned how back when, back in the day when they were riding uh, their bonnies, they mentioned it's nice to see that they're still keeping that theme till this day. So with the modern technology that you have with these bikes, having full traction control and ABS, different rider modes and so on, those, those types of people might assume that these bikes look completely different these days. Uh, the Triumphs still keep with the classic Bonneville engine. It does have twin exhaust on the left and right hand side. It's a very contemporary finish on this bike. With the bike having the classic looks it does, some people may assume it might not have the right kit on the bike. Totally opposite, it's got all the up to date tech that you would like on a bike these days. It's got traction control, ABS, you've always got different rider modes and on this particular model on the Speed Twin you've got rain mode, road and sport. So depending on how you want to go for a ride that day, if you want to relax all the way down to Brighton for fish and chips, come back. Uh, you can either choose to do that really comfortably or push the boat out there and put it in sports mode and make it scare yourself like I did. As I mentioned before, took the bike out today for a few hours. Really impressed. It's, it's a bike that you can just sit upright, be more than comfortable, but at the same time, if you do like something sporty, it really does throw itself into the corners. In summary, don't let the classic look of this bike fool you. It's, it's a very sporty bike, so if you're looking for a modern classic, which has also got some sports character, this is definitely the bike to look at. Feel free to pop in for a coffee here at Triumph West London. Let's have a chat and get you booked in for a test ride.